uh, today we brought some special cake. It's called Stream Cheese. So, you know, okay, good. Did, did we? Yeah. No. Cool. Didn't you? Yes, totally. Didn't you get the memo? Yeah. I got, I, 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 tis, got, I got all the memos. Tis the I truth. Got, I have the best. But yeah, guys, uh, welcome to our <laughs> weekly streams. Uh, we can already see uh, Lucas Cretillon, uh, hey. as usual, my man. My man. Hello. Dude, I gotta say, man, the last few paintings <laughs> that you uploaded on Instagram, pretty awesome. Loved it. Yeah. But you should tag us. Please tag Drink and Draw. No, no, I mean, he did some, like, like a study of a photo, which was fucking cool. Yeah, but he also posted the picture of Lars in the dinosaur suit. But maybe it was someone else in the dinosaur suit. No, it, it, it was Lars. It didn't have to be Lars. Oh, it was Lars. Yeah, so and yeah, just wanted to say it was pretty cool, dude. It was pretty cool, dude. I saw it as well. I saw it today and it was like And Poop here. Minty, I mean, what you, you know, everybody knows Poop Minty. So. I love your name. Yeah. I love your vibe. The capos are the best. Freshly. All right. That's so it. guys, uh, as you can see today, we're going to do some dynamic poses, which will involve some kind of movements. So each of us, we have six poses. We'll do two poses. And each pose is uh, 15 minutes long. So you start off with um, the first pose, no, and then you can actually one. try to sketch the second one on top of it in a different color. So you have this small, like, whoosh, see, like, whoosh, he's like throwing a spear or something. I don't know. Whoosh. Or a punch. Or it's a very dynamic dab. Or yeah, he's, he's a. <laughs> no, no, he's a, it's a very dynamic dab. Mm. Maybe he's also throwing a sock or two. But yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. And then that's gonna go further, but then we're gonna give, we have like this, and then suddenly, BAM! It's a spinning elbow. Last pose will be a yeah. secret. Yeah. Except when you follow us on Instagram, then you have already seen yeah, it. It's already seen, it's true. So. But yeah, so we're gonna. Um, oh, we need a timer again. Do we have that here? I know what we need to. It's called Pro Timer, right? Is it? Pro. Pro. Proxy? Nope. Was it, was it called Timer Pro? Wait. Um, that might might be the case. Mm -hmm. Countdown Pro, Countdown Pro. Uh oh, oh mm. Countdown Pro is already in there, so. So 15, who is starting? I, I mean, you're sitting in the middle right now. Oh, no. The lean starts drawing. I don't want to start. You know what, Lars? <laughs> okay. You have the honors, sir. I, I just came from drawing anyway. So let's I mean, yeah, so. So I took an under. That's great. a valuable nice. life lesson, by the way, guys. If you don't want to do something, just just complain until someone does it for yes, you. It works yeah. every time. <laughs> so let's start the time. Uh, I'm gonna wait to just get the time for you as well. Oh, whoa, what is Sorry. this? No problem. And the timer is not... Uh, you can't see the timer. Watch you just need to click there yeah. first. You did it. No. Nope, that's not how it works. Look forward to me doing this wrong too. No. I think it's not running. Is it running? Oh, it's actually not in the in the thing. That's the problem. It's not actually showing, which is because we can just, can just set up a new one. Another one. Can I do? So we delete that bad boy. Where do you delete? Uh, just remove. Uh, remove. Uh, uh, remove. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we add. Uh, window, right? Yeah, yeah. there's a window the capture. Bottom one. Window capture, and we call it Tumor. Tumor, yeah, exactly. And he exactly knows what it is, so perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is very much possible. That is neat. So your tumor is already running, Lars. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna reset that though, right? <gasps> um, are you done? I'm cheating. You are. Weird. So the buttons are not working. You will oh, what have you done? You broke the it. The A and the D for bigger and smaller. What's it working? The buttons. The buttons, none of them are working? None of them. But I need them. Um, I need them. You don't need them, Lars. I need them. It's like, like against every single instinct I have when drawing. All right. I think it's time. Lars, you don't need them. Just press A and D. A is I don't. I don't need, my, need to make my brush. We bigger. don't have to rush as well. What have you that's, done? That's, why why that's, does everything <laughs> always change? Guys, this is the challenge for tonight. Lars, you're gonna work with what we have, <laughs> and there's no button that's gonna work for you. I don't. Surprise, that's actually that's actually that's actually the theme of today. 
It's like, let's see how far we can get before last <laughs> No, it's somewhere! It has to be somewhere. Oh, I know where it is, I think. Isn't it on desktop? Is it on desktop? Oh, no, I, I know where I put it. Wait, I think I know where I put it. No, serious question. Why does everything change from week to week? When every time <laughs> we ask, why does it change? I don't know, I'm not changing anything. Well, it's probably because there are 20 different people using this computer. Yeah, but that's Especially Photoshop. me, and I'm a little bit schizophrenic when it comes to computer use. Here. It's fine. I know I put it somewhere, but I thought it was on desktop, honestly. Oh my god, see. Oh, the music is up. Where did you. Oh. And Anta, yeah, we, we're doing fine, Anta. Hope you're doing good too. And all your brush settings are there, so. <laughs> and Leo's there too. Leo! Hello! Hey, man! How are you? No. It's my phone trying to connect. Or you saw Leo a couple of days ago because he, he he drew me on Instagram. That's wild. Yeah. I saw your drawing of Diego and I liked it a lot, Leo. Can you captured him. Actually, I'm drawing. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. This is perfect. So we're gonna get this pencil brush, I guess? This one is really nice. It's my favorite. Well, that's still working, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks that's, quite all, large. that's all I need. <laughs> Diego is the hottest. <laughs> <laughs> I have to buy. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, but, 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 but what about Kevin, huh? Alright, yes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard, man. Alright, you still have 30 minutes left. Just but it's very dynamic pose. Dynamic. <laughs> different <laughs> league. He's a different league, man. That's right. Big king in this. Alright, so I'm gonna do two pose. Alright, so. They're, they're gonna, gonna be directly one after Lars, the other. Could you tell me? What is your favorite pose in life drawing? Do you have a favorite pose? Something that you would like, oh, you see it in life drawing and you're like, ah, that just get grinds my gears and that's the pose I love or like the part of the pose that I love drawing the most. Is there a certain thing that you like? There's certain positions that I just kind of revel in when, when drawing. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's the kind of kind of thing I, I, I enjoy most. I think one of them is when you have the, um, this is so weird and specific, it's gonna sound so weird. He's got his own on purpose. Yeah, Especially it, when you see the butt and the butt is like yeah. glowing in the moonlight. That's, <laughs> that's what, what I like the most. That's probably what it's going to be like, I, I think. Um, uh, it's when when you have like the abdominals pu pulling off the ribcage. So yeah, it's yeah. almost like this pose, but not quite. When you have like this being the ribcage and the abdominals kind of pull in. Ah, I know what you mean. And then go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can actually see like, like the, the... The hip bones and... Mm. Okay, that's like pretty cool. Because you can see like the bone structure and... Like the anime, the anatomy, very, very good about. Yeah. Also, like yes. nice shapes, essentially. Just, like, ah, I love how, how you start, man. Mm -hmm. This is what grinds my gears, Lars. You know, <laughs> watching you draw. Yeah. And I can finally say, draw me like one of your French girls, Lars. <laughs> <That's laughs> finally. Aina has such a cute head. I can't. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's actually a cool story with this head, cause I bought it in. 2011 and then I thought I lost it last winter but then turned out it didn't well I kind of forgot it at Kevin's family and they sent it to me okay. like it's this Christmas well. so I didn't have it for one year and now I have it back Yeet. nice I love it already man I'm missing one of my favorite songs from this place <laughs> Baya, what's your favorite part to draw? Uh, I think it's... Um, you know when they... Uh, <laughs> it's almost a normal standing one, but it's just... When they arch, it, oh, what is it? When they arch their, be they be their back a little bit. Uh -huh. I know uh, like I know Kiki does that pose a lot. So she's like sitting half mm -hmm. and she's arching that back. Mm -hmm. So that sho the shoulder goes into the front, see like that? Mm -hmm. okay, the shoulder goes here into the front. And then you have uh, this yeah, that's my favorite part. Three shoulders collarbones, yeah. Three. If you here you can see my brother B leg. Yo guys, hey. Leo's there too. Really? Hey Leo, what's up? What's here, bro? Okay, is there inside? Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi, baby boy. Bye. 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 Bye.
<laughs> All right. The high bike kind of work. But yeah, I, I actually miss life drawing a lot, so... And... Um, I mean, we actually talked about this a couple of minutes ago, that we are thinking about doing a life drawing class where we don't draw digitally like that, but we just draw um, traditionally traditional mediums, and then just uh, capture it with, a, with another webcam. Yeah. And so we yeah. We have to remind Julian to bring back the webcam. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. So maybe that we do that next week. We have like a big chunk of paper on the on the table, a webcam on top, so we can see us drawing on, on the paper. I mean, Baya and I actually promised to do it next week. Yeah, so we we have to do it now. And there was leftover noodles on my finger when we did that. So. <laughs> that uh, makes it. I don't know if that counts for anything. <laughs> I mean, it's like. You know? Is it maybe extra valid? Yeah. Probably. I think it's, yeah. You know, you, you don't say, you don't lie on noodles. You don't lie on noodles. No. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you don't budget. lie on noodles. <laughs> it could do that. <laughs> <I've seen> worse. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten together with noodles? Like, uh, I'm most I, unusual. I'm not quite sure that I've, that I've eaten weird stuff with noodles. Really? But I think it's ketchup because I've never ate weird stuff with noodles. So it's, ah, you know these weird like in, Germ in Germany it's a thing. It's called Milchnudeln. Mm. They had it in in the cafeteria at my old school, and it was so disgusting. I was mm. like, what the fuck is this? It's called oh, it's like milk noodles, mm. and it's sweet with vanilla and like milky, and it's it, it was so weird. I was like. Ugh. I couldn't eat that up because it was so disgusting. That's strange. But I think the problem was that in, in, I didn't knew that and it was kind of weird for me and the food was bad as well. So, mm -hmm. so this is a mixture of both, I think, yeah. Pretty weird. Well, I had noodles with Nutella once. I will say, yeah, that's a waschbear. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's a, it's it's like, a raccoon. Yeah. Waschbear. Mm. It's, it was part of a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually what I wear on a daily basis, kind of. It's the truth, actually. It's true. <laughs> since, I've got, since I've gotten it back, I've been wearing it like non-stop. <laughs> yeah. It's real life now. But yeah, I've been eating noodles with Nutella once. That's fucking... Sc I mean, is it? I, I was... Maybe I was a little bit intoxicated while trying that. But... I would, still it happened. But was it good or did you like... Mm, I didn't really like it. I mean, it's not like the worst. I mean, it's like you got carbohydrates with, uh, with <laughs> sugar and fat. Yeah, it's all right. It's I guess. Hmm. I mean, it sounds. Uh, it's, it doesn't sound like everything good. the body needs. Yeah. It wasn't I mean, that bad. It's like cocoa, you know. All right. Is it kind of kind of weird? You've been to a lot of different. Sorry, what, what did it's you say? Kind of weird because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing everything. And you see, I thought like, is your butt a bit weird? Is and your butt a bit weird? <laughs> you're drawing my butt. I'm like, dude, come on, man. You're on, we're on live here on camera. Yeah, there's, there's like, there's like, you know, there's this, like a face on, on, on your butt. It's kind of. <laughs> no, that's my third brother. <laughs> I absorbed him when I was a kid. So. <laughs> it's butt leg. <laughs> no, it's butt leg. Butt leg. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's butt leg. Um. But Lars, you've been to a lot of different life and classes in your lifetime so far. You mean just sitting down drawing? Yeah. And like life drawing classes or like just drawing classes? Sure. You've been to. Had you ever, had you, did like you ever have that moment? Zoom in where you're drawing? Because otherwise I, it's I like can, very... but I'm trying to not lose yeah. the overall. So I'm, I'm on this foot right now. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever have had the moment or like had a moment where the drawing class was so awful that you just left? Because uh, of, I don't know, certain certain things, maybe the model was really bad, or maybe you're like, uh, like the light was super bad, or you're like, oh no, I can't do this, or uh, well, you're like, oh no, you know, I gotta pu pull through and, and do this, or... I mean, in person? Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, in person, I've really only ever been to the boat at Drinking Dog Berlin. Oh yeah, you can be honest now, did you do that when you were at the boat? No. <laughs> uh, we had one model at my old art school where um, I would eventually get fed up, because there would never be any kind of positive change in what she was doing. What, why was that? Uh, 
multitude of reasons. Like, well, was literally always the same poses. I've, I've been drawing her for three years or so. Like, she always did the same poses, so. all, all, Always the same poses, essentially. Like, there was no variety. Yeah. And I got especially galling when I did start to bring, like, like books of drawings from Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. And my teacher was like, oh, that's great. We should we should just do these poses. Uh, it's like good inspiration. And she looked at them. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do kind, kind of something like this. It was like the same pose you did before. Like, <laughs> so how do you like this one? This is a bit crazy, but let's try this. And then literally mm. same pose. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. Bettina, if you're watching, we're talking about you. <laughs> what? Bettina, oh my god, stop. I know, I know don't, don't call out names here, please. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not watching. So. Okay, yeah. How did you know I am? Yeah. Well, That's I went so to your school, <laughs> and I've already, I did draw Bettina, like, multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. But I didn't name any names. It's so strange that we seem to have the same complaints. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Well, I mean, another thing about the school we went to is they had like three life drawing models in total that were like switching yeah. each week. Wow. Yeah. So there were like three models and one of them was Bettina. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know. What about the other two? The other two were all right. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's not this oh we had the guy with the really big knees. God. At least she didn't show up completely wasted and start insulting. Oh my god, Leo knows! Leo knows! Mm, I <laughs> Do you know the story, that. Lars? Yeah, I, I heard the story, yeah. Of course. So we had this one thing at the... We, we had the, uh, at our old uh, um, location. And we had a recommendation from for a model. From Leo. From Leo, actually. <laughs> Leo knew her, <laughs> which is kind of funny, yeah? Uh, Leo knew her and she said, Ah, oh, she's, she's, she's a great model and she worked with her a couple of times. And then she was there, and she was super nice in the beginning. And then uh, we always had this policy where like the models can drink for free, and then we gave her some a little bit of wine and stuff. And then well, she, she wanted the wine. Yeah, she wanted drink. the wine. Sorry. Did you even drink like hard liquor? That's I, don't, I, I don't know. It was so long ago. And then at one point, she, she just started like acting a bit weird. Started singing during the live drawing, talking the whole time. I, like all the guests were like, we can't really draw her because she's talking the whole time. And then Timo asked her, so maybe can like if she can be a bit quieter, so we can we can all draw her. And then that was so insulting to her that she started uh, insulting Timo and saying that he should be punched in the face and something and threatening him. And we all like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> and, then, and then we said, yeah, we probably uh, like we are here to draw you, and you should probably leave if you want to. But then she just sh shut up the whole time. And then afterwards, she just left immediately. And she. she and the next morning, she wrote. Uh, oh, she wrote the only bad review. Drink yeah, and draw. Yeah, she wrote a drink Facebook. and draw review and said that we uh, assaulted her verbally. And there were like two, uh, the, the, the two organizers. They were male, and there was it was like a like a tech, what was it? A tech bro atmosphere where just men in the in the crowds, yeah. and everyone was just like it was so weird. Like, it, and we were like, wait, what? Like. Uh, more than 50% of the people who come to our session are like women. It's true, it's like 50-50. Yeah, I don't know, and it was it was super weird. Mm. But yeah, I mean PR, bad PR is still PR, so it's cool. If you're super curious, you can find... Oh man, those look so cool, Lars. <laughs> you can probably but, yeah. search for the bad review on our Facebook page if it's still there. It should be still there, right? It's like a one-star review. I, th I think she took it off. Oh really? Oh, she took, yeah, she took it off, she took it off. But like, it, it wasn't Because a lot of people wrote under her thing that... Uh, a lot of people wrote under her review that they were there, mm. and she was weird, acting weird, not mm. the other people there. Mm. It's true, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. It's alright. Mm. Yeah, I, I read that yeah, one. Yeah, you yeah. gave an amazing reply, Leo. So, <laughs> but you know, it, it's a good story in the end. You know, I, we, we still story. love about this, which was crazy. So still can't listen to Whitney Houston. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, triggered. So thank you, Leo, for that great experience, man. <laughs> Without that, I don't know where it would be now. I don't know, maybe. In jail. <laughs> so do I take the next post directly afterwards? And you take over? it right yeah. directly. Okay. Right, right directly. Yeah. Right, right directly. Right directly. Right to jail. Right, right to jail. Right, right, direct. right to jail. Right to jail. You overdraw time. <laughs> don't go over start and don't take two thousand dollars or something. Yeah. Some of the best pieces of pro. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I agree, Leo. I agree. <laughs> but yeah. By the way, Leo, like after this whole pandemic, maybe if you want to come over at, uh, to Berlin, you can crash at my place and we can hang out at the ship together. Dude, consider, man. Like good old times. Yeah. Good old 2000s. Alright, the time times, is right? up, guys. Can you zoom out once and show the whole thing? Yes, oh. show. Senpai, show us. Nice, that's awesome. 
can't see the Looks button. like an That's Olympic okay. yeah. spear throw. I don't know, I don't know how, how they throw th stuff. So, alright. Let's directly go with the next pose. And I'm gonna restart the time for you, Lars. Thank you. Oh yeah, I didn't make it like, a, like an actual thing, but... It's totally fine, you can just... Alright, next pose! Is it just me or does it look kind of... No, it doesn't look kind of blue, but let's... Blue? Is there a way to make it blue? Like yeah, I would love to see what you're, sh what you're doing right oh, yeah. now, man. Uh, you can post it in our Discord. Um, let me do the Discord. Or just okay. tag us on the Instagram when you just post it, or do in your story when you post it. That's right. But you decide, man. Oh, I can't hide. Oh. Did you just make it blue? I just color filled it blue, yeah. But why? Because oh. I want to do the next one red, I guess. Oh yes, beach. I'm gonna put it up here. Just slightly blue, you know? Just yeah. Just slightly blue. Slightly. Slightly. Titty tatty. Titty tatty. Yeah. Titty with double D. That's all right. Now we lost Twitch sponsorship. Yeah. Which Sorry, Mr. Twitch. Uh, it's over now. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Twitch. All right. I mean, we're stepping on thin ice today, anyways, because Baya has not blurred his nipples out. So um, there's there's no nipple. That's just there are some poses with, which will be full of nipples. I see. An, well, I spoiler. Mean, Sorry, yeah. full of nipples. It's like the, the, the next post is just like a the zoom in on a nipple. <laughs> the night is dark and full of nipples. Yeah. Why can't I? All right, perfect. Why can't I comment? Do you prefer to draw women or men, Lars? Oh, women. I think it's more classical, you know? Because for me it's the same way. Because it's, it's easier to work with CNS shapes and it's more fluent. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, did I put it on the same layer? I'm, ooh, that was close. Okay, all right. Why can't I write in the chat? Stupid. Because you've been banned. Sorry. Oh. Who's your favorite model at our ship? Uh, how, how, who's your favorite parent? Both. Parent? <laughs> parent, yeah. I was going to say child, but... Yeah, you would say my mom too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a secret. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Uh, what was the favorite pet you ever had? Oh, right, let, okay, God damn it! It's like these people. That <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say Lars. Like, if, if we could choose, like, the Mount Rushmore of our models that we have. So far. Yeah, the Mount Rushmore of our models. Well, the, ones, the, the ones we have at our ship. Al, is... Alice up there. Tsuki. 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 And Yuka. 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 Tsuki. L. Janet. Oh, Janet. Janet. Yeah. Travis, is Travis, is also good. Travis and Steven are also really good. But oh man, okay, Mount Rushmore is not enough. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> see I'll the problem? I see the problem now. It's you. Yeah, yeah. So for everyone who want to see all these great models, you should come to our ship as soon as we open again. <laughs> it's a good, a great transition. There's a couple of amazing models that were like, like only once there. It's just this. This kind of chance encounter, and I want to draw them again. Yeah. They just never show up. Did you know? Uh, did you know Barnaby? He used to be a couple times in our model. This old fellow who was a dancer. I know yeah. him. He's really nice. He's really cool. He did some great poses, but then after the third time, he left back for Australia again and uh, was gone. And was like, oh no, man. He so sad. Kind of, I think he had like Travis vibes, but a bit. Travis older. vibes. Yeah, older. But then he always did these crazy. He was yeah, it's very, very. He had the same um, approach as Tsuki when modeling, because hmm. he was always. I mean, like all the dances, he was not really going into poses, but more like feeling it and then dancing into the pose. And then, as soon as he mm -hmm. felt like this one's this is the pose, he just stopped mm -hmm. like the music just stopped and he was like freeze, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So, it was always very fluent and it was always different because he always felt different and like moved in a, in a different way. So, it's true. Oh man, I love that already. This line of action is like, mm. yeah, I'm wondering if it's too busy. It probably should like be more it. like that, but there's a bend there that I kind of want to get in there. Yeah. But it mm, might, yeah, might, might keep it like that. I like it. Might work. Let's see. I guess if I keep the other side straight, then it probably works. But I actually like this bend in, in the other arm of the loss as well. Yeah. Because you have this. When the hand comes, there's another bend there, so it's like a. Mm. By the way, something very economic that I would I would I would want to share like one thing today about, about drawing. Get these 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 
pinches in whenever an arm is pressed up against something because it tells so much about the form underneath. Ah, okay. Would it make sense to make one a little bit one here as well, so I see part of the breast muscle? Even yeah, I mean, just this, this is just the gesture. Like yeah. once I get in and get the like the ah, rib yeah. cage, then I would because this is also too wide for the arm because yeah. it would actually pull up here. Yeah. But I wanted to get like at least the the motion out of the arm okay, cool. in there. That's something I would get back to probably. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm fixing my arm a bit already. Ah, oh, the simplicity of this is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I start being a fanboy. <laughs> You didn't start the timer, by the way. Oh! Oh no. Oh, well, no. shoot. Well, I probably have like nine minutes or something. Yeah. Alright, guys, you have nine minutes left. Sorry. See, I, I, I said so. I'll make this mistake later, and here we are. Already. Alrighty. Alrighty. Can I get a cracker? You want a cracker? I want a cracker. Can I have a cracker? Polly wants a cracker, thank you. Polly wants a cracker. She has a weird head on. Alright. Oh, Maybe this is actually too high. I was wondering because the leg was too. This would be more like. Ah, okay, yeah, that's true. It's too And this should go around there too. Hmm. I have a very important question for you. A very important question, mm -hmm. alright? She prepared something for today, but now I'm drawing. <laughs> That's cool. I think let's just go with the flow today. Yeah. Just like so, when you were in school, yeah, were you good at eating in secret during class? I never done that. What? I'm just kidding. Of course I did this, <laughs> but I always did um, this thing where I just had this in my in my hoodie, or it's like just down there, mm -hmm. and then did this like where you just bend down like that and then eat here. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done so that. you do it like. Uh, that is a very important question. I, I can see the uh, <laughs> yeah. relevance. I thought there's like some art related question, but it's like, are we good at Yeah. It, it can be defined as an art form. Because my, my, my head was going through, were you good at maths, art, yeah. English? Were you guys actually good in art in, in elementary school? Or in even in, in like high school? Mm. Then did you have good grades in art? Yes. In but not like straight A's. I had yeah. like. I was, I was a beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. I was a beard. <laughs> mm. Like, it's probably because I hated it there. Mm. It was super boring. Like, our teachers we never did cool stuff. Never. Mm. And it was always like, this is the most boring stuff in the world. Mm. It's ridiculous. And it's like, ah, yeah. Mm. And it's so sad. I think it's for a lot of children out there when, when they go to school, art is just one of these. Subjects are just super boring because, like, the, the, the class is just boring itself, mm. you know? Yeah. For me, it was a way, so. I mean, I was like in my almost like highest peak of being emo during like 12th grade or whatever. <laughs> so I was really artsy, but like really. Uh, like um, not confident about it yeah. and I was scared of being like, judged for it but I also felt misunderstood <laughs> so that, that combination like I was like my art teacher is not getting me but also I'm scared of her judgment so <laughs> I don't know what to do so that Perfect. was kind of yeah I mean it's a great combination to grow up you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh well how about you Lars do you have good grades in, in art in elementary school, I think so. I mean, in elementary school, what they do you almost, do? You just do watercolor. I think, I, yeah, 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 pretty much. But, but I have one funny art-related elementary school story because I was almost not admitted to to grade school. Because yeah. one of the tasks to be admitted was to draw a car, and for some reason, <laughs> and I, I couldn't tell you why, I decided to draw it from a from a bird's perspective. I mean, you, you teach perspectives now, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I should get back to the teacher and like, actually draw these perspectives now because they wanted, you know, this. They would just wanted this. That's what you were supposed to draw, and I, I kind of drew something like, like this. I can't really see it. Oh, I, I, I drew this, I think. Well, that that looks like a car. Yeah. I know, right? But the the guy. They I, mean, I mean, maybe he didn't pass the test as well. It was like, this is apparently not a car. Yeah. <laughs> you fool. 
<laughs> I remember distinctly getting the um, the last question on like a like a dice thing wrong, where you were rolling. Where they were had colors. Yeah. And you had to guess, uh, not guess, but you had to keep an eye on like which colors were shown and which were not. Yeah. And I got five of six right. The last one wrong. I remember orange not being part of of the uh, yeah. thing when we revealed the last one. Something is this is too short. Something is amiss. Yes. Yes. Mm. Alright, you have five minutes left, guys. Oh, that's better. Oh, I love it, Lars. That's a good I remember, stretch. I remember, like, so in my school, before you were admitted to, like, first class, you had to pass, like, a, what's it called, like, a Reife test. A ah, Reife test. Yeah. So, if you're, like, emotionally and mentally ready for school or whatever. So, um, I was at this test and I had to draw a picture of my family. So I drew like the most basic picture, like every every kid draws like a house and a sun and a tree. And I drew my mom and my dad and me. And then my mom was just like really really tall compared to my dad, like not in real life, but like on the picture she was just like taller than my dad. And I think I put her on like a. I mean, she is your favorite parent, so it makes sense. She's my favorite parent. I put her like on the bump, basically, yeah. to make up for that, kind of. Yeah. And I remember. That the the like teacher that took took the test, she was like, Oh, so your mom is really important for you, huh? Is it more important than your dad maybe? And I felt wow. like even as a wow. kid I felt like Wow. Am Are I you sure an asshole? Should, <laughs> should you ask some yeah. stuff like that? Do you prefer keeping your left hand or your right hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah, some teachers are just just mean and I always wonder like why do you work with children? I had this thing, I, I always told you, tell you, that I had this thing when I was in 6th grade mm. and we had to draw Christmas trees mm. for, uh, <laughs> like for, uh, for our school and then my English teacher at that time came to me and I looked at my tree and was like this is the most ugliest tree, the ugliest tree I've ever seen to a 6th grader and I was like, bitch what? <laughs> That's so rude This is so ridiculous and, and afterwards, like as a kid I never thought about it really, I was like, ah, bitch Okay, I didn't think bitch, I was like, oh, imbecile. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but then I was like, Mike was cut off. But no now, now I'm like, dude, how can you talk to a kid like that? Like, is yeah. it... I mean, some people just do it for the pension, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah, that's it's like... basically like a reasonably cushy job to. Yeah. Because, he, because teachers, you know, they, they, they get paid based on showing up and not based on performance because it's, it's a government job in Germany, so. And they have a lot of vacation. Yeah. They so they have every right to only, be only the bad teachers. It's 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 a sort it's of system. True. Yeah. Only the bad teachers get a lot of free time. Like the other teachers, do they just work themselves to death for yeah. the same wage, which is insane. But then it's like it's it's so crazy because a good teacher can be such a big difference, you know? Oh yeah. I mean, all the difference. If I actually maybe had a teacher who, in an art who was like who was made it more interesting for me, mm. maybe I've gotten into that a bit more a bit earlier. Who knows? Mm. Mm. Or, I don't know, or just history. History is always so boring. Uh, In the end, history really? is actually... I love my history teacher. My history teacher was ridiculous. Her name was Frau Hammer. Hammer. And she hated us all. Hammer. Yeah. Du bist Hammer. Yeah, she du once uh, threw uh, her keys after uh, someone. A what? Her keys. Oh, wow. Yeah. She was actually Hammer. She was, she was a hammer and just destroyed destroy all the kids. My history teacher. He was kind of a rebel, and we loved him for that. Cool. Because like once, like our English teacher left like a plate with like some leftover stuff like on the teacher's table, and he was always like really like um, like strict and like rigorous in a way, yeah, yeah. but also like kind of like uh, a hard exterior and a soft core kind of way. Yeah. So he like came into the room, he like saw the plate with the stuff on it and he just grabbed the plate with the, with the utensils and everything and like tossed it in the trash. And we were just like, oh, what? You're so cool, Mr. Teacher. And then our English teacher came by later and she was like, where's the plate? And he's like, well, I threw it in the trash. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, what? <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah, he nice. was super cool, I loved him. And funny story, the like my mum's husband, he was on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire once. Oh my god, it's nice. And my history teacher was this like telephone huh? really? guy. Really? <laughs> yeah. So how far did he get? He didn't make it to the chair. He was oh. in the ten oh. people, but he wasn't fast enough with the ABC Damn. team. I know. But it was so funny, like so cool. Yeah, hey Hübner, if you are watching. 
times. Yeah. Paul Kluge, if you're watching, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this looks so amazing, Lars. I love it. Love it. Oh, Cleo's going back. I wish my butt looked like this in real life, <laughs> dude. It does look like this in real life. All right. It does now. It does now. It does Somehow. Now. Oh my God, Lars, you're you're a magician. <laughs> I am. Lars is actually working for the Kardashian as well. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> drawing them and then making it real yeah. by the. Doctor, can you just like get the lips a bit? Oh, that's you know, that looks completely different. I used a completely different brush for that. It's funny. But I like I like it. See how much fun you're having with different brushes. No, I mean Don't I use a different <laughs> I use a different different width of the of the. No. Thing. I mean it's similar enough. I just like these these All rough right. pencil-y brushes. So I'd say uh, let's go next round. Shorter poses. Oh, come, come on. on, come on. Leo, you know what? Next next week, we're gonna do short poses with the light model. Yeah, did I promise too much? I don't know. I mean we're doing traditional short poses and. That's cool. Mm. Thing is, the thing is, Leo, we only have a limited amount of like reference photos that we took. We can do a real life life model with the cam again. Like next sure. week, but not this week. We have to set up the cam. We don't I mean, even I mean have next, to... yeah, next week. Yeah. Oh, for today we only have the 50 minute poses. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. Yeah, for next week we can do shorter ones. If you're like yeah. around. For Leo, for sure, man. All right, Nini, you want to go next or should I? I'm going to go next. Okay. I'm going to be the finishing beacon of hope for myself and for you, maybe. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, sure. Lars. All right, B. All right, next. A cracker. A cracker. Cracker? All right. Oh. Whoa. What, what did you just done? do? Into infinity. Oh yeah. my god. Oh no, this is so. Uh -oh. I can see a nipple. Oh no, for shortening. <laughs> Guys, please don't flag us. No, actually, what we did is we um, shot it off and then just put a black dot on there. Yeah, it's just a it's a, a, a nude colored nipple pasty that fires yep. wearing. Nude so, colored. That's right. Which is one of the uh, Drink and Draw brand new colors of oil colors that were. Making sure nude color. Oh, right. you, you, you didn't right. start the timer. You didn't start the timer. <laughs> 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 no. What? Did you have to do that? What? Except. You said. <laughs> I did not say bukake. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I no, mean. don't close it, man. You have to click on something else. I don't know where the mouse is. The mouse is gone. The mouse is. Just click somewhere else. Click here. Click here. There you go. Awesome. Nice. Making this really hard for every one of us. Why, why is the mouse gone? <laughs> <laughs> why is it can't see when? How should I? How? Wait, didn't did you press? No, you didn't. It's just gone. Oh. Well. Oh. Hmm. Well, what did you say? Today is later. You have to do that too. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, why is no, this always turn. happening? I didn't have my favorite brush. I think I'm all right. <laughs> you don't have a mouse. Oh no. And <laughs> Ali is not going to have Photoshop. <laughs> I don't understand. <gasps> Where, what? Okay, um, we have a little problem here, Houston. Um, our mouse is gone. Where's the mouse gone? I mean, what did you do? Uh, it could be a setting in in uh, thing which you hear that have a rod. I feel like it could be. Oh really? But I didn't really push any buttons, so... Could have been a shortcut. Um, I'm gonna try to work with it. I'm gonna try and Google this. Yeah, I'm gonna just start drawing. Fuck that. That's what I love about our generation. We just Google things. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, outsourcing our brain. Blue, 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 blue. Which truly is the smart thing to do. That looks like a beacon of hope. Oh, I may not have actually taken my note with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm confused, where's the mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend you know. You can see it here, actually. <laughs> yeah. That helps. <laughs> Is this uh, OBS? Uh, which one? OBS 2.6.0.2 2.6.0.2 <clears throat> I think 
one of the mo more funny, like the funniest stories that happened during my like late school time that I remember right now is uh, my German teacher, whose name actually was Mrs. Teacher, like her last name what? was literally Teacher, like Lehrer in German. So she was <laughs> Frau Lehrer, Mrs. Teacher. Um, she was pretty cool, but she was really, um, you know, low key when she like held her lectures she was just like really like in the routine and doing it like in her flow not really sparking much Joy. excitement or whatever so like this one girl she just started rummaging in her bag while mrs teacher was talking about some german stuff and then she pulled out a deodor deodorant and just applied deodorant to herself like during the lecture which is i mean it's kind of Unusual, I guess, but it's not like super weird, maybe. But Mrs. Teacher, she was just like talking, talking, and then she was just like, <gasps> and then she stared at the girl, and then she was like, What in all earth are you doing? And kind of having like, maybe she was so old that wait, she wait, 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 she was having a fit, but then she like during that, like during the first half of a minute doing that. She like suddenly interrupted herself and told us a story about like her friend in school who always used to do super ridiculous stuff during class. So it was so funny because she was like in her routine doing the monotonous German stuff. Then she was like super engaged, kind of yelling at this girl, putting on deodorant, and then like <laughs> she was super enthusiastically telling us, well, my friend Ingrid, you know, she always used to clip her nails in class, blah blah blah. And then she just like Maybe yeah, she had started a, doing that. And we maybe were just she like, had some kind of seizure. And it was like, <laughs> oh, 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 my friend Ingrid. And then it's like, oh. <laughs> Mrs. Teacher, what are you talking about? Like, it was so funny to have like her mood shifting in these rigorous ways during like one minute of class. Like, stop it, Mrs. Teacher. You're hurting our <laughs> feelings. Kind of scary. She was super nice, though. I liked her. But she was. She's she, she, like a crazy bee. She's a bit. You know, she's a special one. Oh man, I really want to have my mouse back, guys. I, yeah, I want to know where I start drawing. Is this... Do you have an FN button? No. Right? Yes, I have. I do. Uh, FN plus F3. FN, F3. You don't have F3 here, but it's probably this one, huh? Mm. Back. No mouse back. can see it here, so it should be fine. <laughs> I wonder if there will ever be a stream where everything will just go according to plan. But that would be boring, you know? Nobody, nobody wants to see that. Oh boy. Yeah. So guys, I, I was planning to ask you from the chat, what, are you, what have you been up to today? You know, how was your day? If you want to talk to us about that. We would be delighted to listen to your stories as well. <laughs> You're scaring me. Am I weird? Some, Sorry. Some Victor energy here. <laughs> oh my god! What am I? What? What have you done now? Um, How have you done this? Maybe open. Yeah, I would know if I what what happened if I knew where my mouse was. <laughs> It was like the mouse is back. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, which one we do that? Like here? Yeah. Ah, I'm back. Okay. Easy. That was easy. That was pretty easy. Oh, cool, Leo. Yeah, just do. I mean, I would say. Go to another Let's spot and draw the model from a different perspective, but can't really do that online. Sorry. Well, I guess no one wants to tell me about their day, so that's okay. I'm not hurt. I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> well, what did you do, Lars? Maybe you want to tell me about your day. I wasn't. Uh, well, um, 
We did outplay an Ugin earlier in draft. So what? Okay. Yeah, exactly. I, I I know nobody thought this could be done. Uh, at least of um, at least of us myself. Oh, sorry. Um, on your leg. I'm confused. No, <laughs> we drafted. Opponent played the best card possible. We uh -huh. still need it. It was amazing. Oh. oh my god, yeah, that was fucking amazing. So we're talking about Magic the Gathering online. Yeah, and now we stopped talking about Magic the Gathering. So no, um, I was I was I was drawing, doing some D D illustrations. Drawing. I mean, personal Did you draw D &D. me? Nobody sent me how what the characters look like, so I couldn't oh. actually do that. I can actually show you what I think my character <laughs> no. looks like. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw gonna be an image I'm gonna of draw Marco I'm gonna draw nipples now. Lying the seriously <laughs> on a table. No. Like. So you are going to draw characters at the time? If, if you maybe, yeah, probably you would be so cool. Cancel. Oh my god. Yeah, we play we played Dungeons and Dragons yesterday. And my character was kind of like oh, come on, Tamaki dude. from Owen High School Host Club. If anyone of you knows that show. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is a So, imagine this person kind of being more buff and a little bit more Iron Malkimi from the body size hair, but also having like this vibe. So he's like blonde, like. This is kind of what my character looked like from yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. So everyone's like, why is it? Why are your eyes so fucking big, man, dude? It's weird. Yeah. Having a tough time imagining that, but sure. He's blonde. He's blonde. Yes. Yeah. And he's like. Is there a curl? No. Okay. Does he look like a bitch? No. Whatever that means, but no. I mean, it's. I was just doing some. Mm. Means lean for the barbarian. 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 For Burberry, but. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like. Hey, even though I'll tie, I haven't done anything interesting apart <gasps> from your drawing today. But your story reminded me of my Russian teacher who used to threaten. I uh, used to threaten misbehaving students with a toy gun. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay, this beats, <laughs> this beats my stories. Wow, Alta. I mean, at least it was a toy gun. I mean, how, how do you know? Do you know it was a toy gun? Did I mean, it it's Russia. It? Or was it like an it was actual. A Russian teacher. Uh, uh, mm. Well, I mean, we had a teacher. Watch out, they don't squash that fly that's crawling over. We had a teacher that actually told a student, um, if I if I were as dumb as you are, I would have hanged myself. Ooh. Oh, would have wow. Hung. Hung. Hang hung. I know, but I think it's different for like the 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 actual execution uh, of that. Oh man, I don't know. Hanged. It's not hanged. It's irregular. Damn, that's why. Winova, thank you so much for telling me about your day. I appreciate it. But drawing can be very interesting. So, yeah. So because there's the hanged man, the rock card. Hanged man. Mm. Oh man. I'm not gonna look up Twitch grammar now. I mean, my music teacher was pretty weird as well. I mean, every teacher is weird, I think, but um, you know this thing when someone yawns, like you kind of yawn with them, right? And yeah. then some people say it's like because y when you feel, uh, when you like someone, you do that especially, like yawn when the other pe person is yawning. Yeah. That's what she believed at least. And so she told us one day that she actually like checks which students are yawning when she's yawning so she knows who's like whose students like think that she's nice. That's kind of uh, weird. That's it's so weird. Like, why would she tell us? <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> like, and every suddenly everyone is like yawning <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, it's so weird. We yeah. were all like. <laughs> so <laughs> Justin, I saw you like yawning, and if you want to meet me after class, that's yeah. fine. But, but also, I don't know if this is slightly illegal, but like um, during my last year, so when I did my A levels. Like this one time, she was like, Eileen, can you come outside with me for a second? I was like, sure, whatever. Oh no. And she was like, so I've noticed that I have not made any notes into my notebook about your like verbal par participa participation during class, which is like a grade you get. 
And I was like, well, that's shit. Why didn't you like take notes and stuff? And she's like, so I was just thinking about giving you 13 points uh, from 15 points for that. And I'm like, I mean, sure, <laughs> just do that, I guess. <laughs> It was like so weird. So weird that she like. Yeah. Why would she tell me again? Why would she tell me? Uh, so then, is this a test? Wait, are yeah. you like? Are you working for KGB? I was. So, <laughs> I mean, I was yeah. decently engaged in music class, but still, it was just like. Mm. First of all, you're admitting you, you're not taking any notes, which is literally your job. And yeah, then you're yeah. like, I'm just giving you a random good grade then. I mean, yes. have, having having taught myself. Just in just one class, like thirty people, mm. year after year, it's hard to take notes for everyone. We were a class of twelve. That is weird <laughs> and inexcusable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird. we weren't that many people. Yeah, that's that's super strange. I mean, my art teacher always it was it was she always said, "Oh, thirty points is only for like thirty out of fifteen, which is essentially an A minus." It's only for my very special students, and she was about to give me like nine points, and I was literally doing the entire class myself. Yeah. So what does it take, woman? What does you it take? You have to sleep with her last. Yeah. You oh. have to bring her an apple every day. It's like I, I love it when teachers just in invent new ways. It's like I mean, thirteen points is only for for my special student. It's like I mean, thirteen points is just a sehr good. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. If you have everything right on a test, why 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 not give? I mean. Yeah. I kind of liked about my English teacher, even though she was pretty weird, but she was like, I think she graded decently. Yeah, but most English teachers are kind of cool. But my English teacher wasn't cool. She was really? like, she was like the mommy type, but like the archetype, the archetype of a mother that was super weird and super like butthurt whenever you didn't do your stuff for class. She was just like, am I not a good mother to you? Why would you disrespect me in that yeah. way? And she took everything so personally. And I kind of hated her, but I also kind of liked her. So it was like a love-hate relationship. I think she hated me too, and she liked me too. So we had this weird. I mean, yeah, she's kind of like my German teacher in the last couple of years. He was amazing, mm. absolutely amazing person. But he also took like every time someone didn't do their homework, like personally, mm. like you're doing this for me, you're doing this for you. But he was the only teacher that actually sound like he meant it yeah because every other teacher was like oh this is like going against my record of having good students in my class yeah. but for him he would get actually upset mm. that you wouldn't believe in yourself yeah. and stuff like that and you could you could tell that what was his name Shia LaBeouf uh <laughs> <laughs> no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call him out mm. just just, you know, just keep, keep on trying to the time is over. Mm. But he was also involved in, in, a, in a series of really cool, cool by him. articles in a newspaper that is very well known about um, universities taking the approach of just uh, like learning for learning's sake and the learning for understanding's sake. So it was, I think it was about history or at least politics. Oh boy. And um, he always taught us to kind of read between the lines and mm -hmm. try to understand like why things happen, not when they happen. Mm -hmm. And then when one of his students actually got to university, that entire uh, approach was thrown out, and he was only supposed to learn the dates, not make. Okay, how do I hover over this now? Oh, like that, perfect. You oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. It was easier than I thought. Did it? You was it now? Oh man. Okay, now I'm just gonna toss this book. <laughs> how do I? Sorry, it's downstairs still. Where is Kept the newspaper. Can I just, just pre press uh, B for brush? Yeah, but I, I wanna well. push this drawing aside. What does it? Oh. Ah, no. perfect. What? <laughs> you can't do that by a... D Stop it. D9. <laughs> yeah, D9. D9. Nice. Uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's all. I'm honest. Like, maybe just press the... Maybe we can just move the canvas a little bit. I'll go out of Okay, now we need to have the challenge with the timer. Where is the... <laughs> it's not a timer. <laughs> Alright, uh, buttons. One. This is going to be a long string. Five. Zero, zero. D did you find anything on Google why this? No. Why the mouse is gone? Why is the mouse gone? I mean, my my, my, my guess is. Oh, Grinvold. Hey, she. Uh, but everyone loved her. She was very strict, but always ingenuous. 
engineer, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who class laugh at the person? Ah, oh. I think, I mean, like, humor always is a good sign. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's like shame humor. Mm. I'm not sure if I, if I, if I approve of that. Mm. Um, okay, window. Imagine why, if why she, not? she was just like making mean comments about the person's appearance. Like, he was talking and she's just like, well, your head looks stupid. I wouldn't talk like that if I had a big head like you, man. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so... Um. Oh man, this is really agitating me with the mouse. Oh, man. I'm so looking forward to drawing with all the mouse. It's kind of fucked up, but you know... Maybe I'm gonna do like an... Never mind. But well, that's cool, Window Weld. Oh, it's nice that you had a good connection to this teacher. Oh man, okay, wait, I'm just gonna start again. This is you can just press D and it, the brush gets bigger. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Could be anything from like FN from the F. To F6 or something. But there's no Fs on this keyboard. Well, that's bad. Okay, then that probably couldn't have made it disappear anyway. I mean, maybe they have. So the thing is, it is an English keyboard, but I have I have set it on German. Like, so maybe it thinks there are Fns, but they're not marked as Fns on the keyboard. Oh dear. But then it would be some of these. I mean, we could very quickly check just the the mouse um, settings if you if you permit me. Yes, I. <laughs> 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 it's just like Lars, <laughs> like pointlessly hovering with the mouse somewhere. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, we hate D and D. They're so unprofessional, man. What the fuck? Every time, like. Actually, like Henrik was watching the last stream, he was like, why is like every time you stream something is wrong? Hey, like, I don't every know. time just But like, it's weird, I don't know what it is. It is weird. Like it's now the mouse fault. has just disappeared. Henrik, if you're watching, it's not our fault, sorry. Like, it's I mean we're I don't know, we're We're trying. <laughs> we're trying. We're actually trying. <laughs> I don't yeah. think there is a do not show the mouse stuff. <laughs> no. There's there actually is um, oh, oh shit, wait. I mean pointers. Can you <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Ah, uh, okay, wait. Well, we're, we found some properties, but uh, we don't know how to click on them because the mouse is not there. <laughs> oh, you, you were right here at the moment, so you're probably here right now. Just move down here somewhere. <laughs> you see it? Do you see it? See it's hardware? Oh, hardware. You're on hardware. I know, I saw, I saw it. Point options. Yeah, point. Okay, now we got that one. Height pointer while typing. That's probably what happened. Can you just Why uncheck it? <laughs> now you're down here again. I know, I know. Yeah, are you over it? <laughs> this is so weird. It's like Top Schlagen, guys. Do you know Top Schlagen? What's the English word for that? I don't know. It's like this game you play at, at children's parties where like one child is blindfolded. <laughs> this is the and, worst thing. <laughs> and you put like um like a pen okay, or a pot somewhere. This. I'm here right now. And then you put uh, like a sweet or something underneath the pot and then you turn the child around and it doesn't know where the pot is and Actually, it just has to go on all fours and like with a like a cooking utensil like hit the floor and in, in, in search for the pot and then people are standing around the Oh child. the mouse is back! <gasps> oh my god Lars! The mouse is back. And the child has to like find the pot. Can you close the back on the I am a wizard. How oh did god, we do that? Oh my god, you are. Warbuck. Oh my god, this is so much Ooh. better. H hitting the pot. Is that, is that the English translation? For that me? is now the translation. Every <laughs> every British child knows what we're talking about when we talk about hitting the pot. <laughs> well, in German it's just called Topschlagen. 
Yes. We literally translate That's to That's what we, 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 we do, by the way. It's, it's a great game. What you do is you put a pot in the middle of a room and then I your children... I it. I know, no. but you explained it wrong, because all we do, we hit it. No! Yeah. You don't hit it. You just yeah. don't... Just I, love, I love this discussion. I know you explained it, but you explained it wrong. Yeah, because this is about teaching kitchen utensils a lesson. Oh, uh, yeah, utensils? This, this is about subjugation of kitchen uten utensils. Yeah. Very important traditions in Germany since the great kitchen utensil uprising of 1602. Yeah, I mean, they, know, they should know their place, you know? Mm -hmm. No one told them to be free. Yeah, this this whole we put something under it. You're supposed to find it. Sweets. It's, it's yeah, that's like whitewashing history. Sorry. You know, what well, always like the the supreme birthday party givers that were like that didn't only have sweets underneath the pot, but like something like to play with, like a little toy. But that were like the like the rich families yeah, I, I that, that I, did I, that. I, yeah. I Me mean, neither. <laughs> you didn't have friends. I didn't have any. Any. I only had nemeses. Really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the teachers. <laughs> Invited to they, they put me summer. under the pot. That was that was the really? place I went to. Yeah. You should have burned, they never, they burned their houses they down. Never, they, never, they never did the actual, you know, finding of the thing. They just went somewhere else. It was weird. I was really good at hiding too. <laughs> I mean, whenever I played at hide and seek, and I, I hit, nobody ever found me ever. I, I hit for hours. <laughs> oh God. It's so depressing. I try, I, I'm <laughs> trying to invent the most, the saddest uh, backstory of, of a rogue, or yeah, yeah, essentially. Mm. Well, I had this friend and he was always, like this one time we played hide and seek and we were like really young and I couldn't find him and then I told like his mom or whatever that I couldn't find him and we were like oh, calling shit. his name and like looking for him and he wouldn't respond and we were kind of getting worried at some point because I was like, where the fuck is he? Like, why would he not respond at some point? What's wrong? And then he turned out like after a very, very long time we found him like Underneath some mattress, and he had just fallen asleep there. He was literally just sleeping. Huh. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> it's just like, boy, we were worried about you. I mean, the thing is, like, we were probably too bad to find him, so he was like, oh, we probably could take a nap here. Which stories? Which stories are you referring to? <laughs> stories of my friend who's very shitty at hide and seek, and falling asleep while hiding? I mean. <laughs> I mean, do we want to go there? No. It's just every, every, everyone die. The end. Mm. Moral of the story? Everyone dies. Doesn't have a moral. And we never, yeah, we, yeah, never, we never found the friend. He's, he's still he lost. Was. It's getting dark. I like it. <laughs> it never was a friend. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I actually have some stories of that, but they were like like second, second hand uh. from my school. Or oh yeah, people went on the class trip. One person went to the bathroom and never returned. Really? But yeah. that's just like urban myths. And this was like, you could actually ask the teacher about that and then, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Really? Yeah, that's so dark. But like, they just like left? <laughs> or maybe, yeah, or were abducted by the mafia. I don't know. Ew, gross. I don't, I don't know. Let's not go there. But it's funny how, how, what kind of dangerous stuff you do as a kid and you don't really realize. So. At my school, most of the kids uh, were coming to school by S-Bahn, so like public transportation. Um, and the like the nearest stop to my school only had two tracks because it was like a tiny stop, like in the middle of nowhere. And the S-Bahn would only come like every half an hour. So sometimes we would just like hang out at the S-Bahn station for literal hours after school was finished. And at some point we started to kind of press coins with the S-Bahn, so we would put like coins on the on the rails basically. What? And let the S-Bahn like drive o over the coins. And then Ooh. when you did that for like a couple times, the coin was really flat and you could like, yeah. you had just a really flat coin, that was it. <laughs> but like, so we were playing like on the tracks a lot, <laughs> like a lot. And sometimes there was just like an S-Bahn coming by or like a freight train or something. And, you know, I mean, no one was ever run over. Sorry, it didn't take a dark turn in that way. Mm. But I remember distinctly that I was on the tracks one time and I didn't, like, look or whatever. Or, like, I was just like, oh, the S-Bot is coming in, like, 20 minutes or whatever. I still have so much time. And I just heard, like, this, like, um, like the horn of the train just, like, boom, 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 boom. But it was just, boom. <laughs> like, oh, my God, yeah. probably ruined the day of this guy. And he was like, 
<laughs> random <laughs> children on the so, so. And we did that a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> I remember also pressing coins, but I think it was my mother. It was somewhere else entirely, in some island. Hmm. Yeah. But did you do it with trains as well, or? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but it wasn't. You had to go down to do it. Oh. It was like on, on on the same level as the street. Ah, I see. Where's the platform? Um, I was actually I was kind of hoping you would take the story a different turn. So um, you can hope that someone died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, like um, you know, none of us got run over. It wasn't going to turn dark that way. We just derailed the whole train, and oh. fifty people died. So uh, wow. Yeah, we were fine. <laughs> That's why I left Schwerte. Yeah. <laughs> But there was this one really smart kid, and he just duct tape a coin to the to the tracks, like for an entire day. Is he really a and smart kid was, when he does that? And then it was really like super flat, and we were all really so, impressed. Oh my god, I can't draw today. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. You're drawing all this time. You're drawing without a mouse cursor, visible. That's right. Yeah, that's why it's quite, quite um, impressive. <laughs> this is that his foot? <laughs> yeah, that's his foot. You got a fucking problem with that, huh? He's a little hard for you. <laughs> I love it. God, there are like there's certain things where I could just Can rage all me day. Of Tommy Wiseau. Please stop. <laughs> I'm gonna rage. <laughs> Say more things about this. Just think about. Oh um, my God. We're gonna we're gonna drink hot cocoa after this, and then. It's not um, gonna help. And then we play magic drafting. Mark. It's gonna help. We're gonna draft. Sure. We're gonna play my draft deck. Hey, oh my God, my this is the worst. Green and draft deck. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this anymore. It's fine. <laughs> you can. Just, we can play like a fun drawing game for the last three minutes. So you start drawing something and I have to guess what it is. How about that? Yeah, okay, let's go, well, let's go for that. Okay. Is it by? Okay. It's a heart, it's a butt, it's a bird, it's a hill, a mountain. It's an eye. Oh, it's an ear, it's ears. It's eyes. Ears, a bear, a teddy bear. It's, it's uh, a penis, <laughs> it's a dick. <laughs> Oh, it's a frog! Yes. <laughs> ah, Zeus! Or is it? I don't know, is it? Yes, it is. Where are its eyes? No. Oh. He's a weird one. Where is his frog. mouth? He doesn't have a mouth. Oh, okay. And yes, I'm like. <laughs> I thought that was his good. That's what's helping. The frogs don't have ears. This is it a bullfrog. Those are horns. Is it a devil frog? No, it had. Oh, that's kind of cute. There's like twiggy arms. Okay, draw another thing. I want to guess some more. Oh, no. It's cute though. It's wings, actually. I would adopt it. Alright, so what about this? Mm. It's a circle. It's, it's the not. world. It's the universe. Mm. And now there's... It's glasses. It's a gas mask. It's a pig. It's a gas mask. It's a mask. It's a mask. It's a pig's nose. Oh, it's a It's a pig. Already a tooth. And we just need eyes and everything. Or it's a shy guy. I think it's a pig. Or it's a. Uh, it's a bear. It's a cow. Yeah. <laughs> a cow? Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> can you see it? I mean. Come on, have you, have you never seen a cow before? Sure, whatever you say. I loved it. One more, two, two more. Depending on how fast you guess. It's a triangle. It's the Illuminati. It's a Dorito. <gasps> yes. It's a nacho. <laughs> Is it a nacho? It's a flaming che 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 Is it a cheese? Is it two cheese? Oh, it's like the, the, the triangle where you put the, the billiard balls, the pool balls inside. No. no. Okay. It's a triangle from the movie Triangle. A oh, it's a sandwich! It's, it's a sandwich with It's a cheese. panini. A panini sandwich. With salad and cheese. Mm, and whatever that is. What is that? Bacon. Did, you, did anyone of you guys say taco? Ketchup. It's a taco. The tacos are not triangular. Now they are. This, okay. this is like, have you ever been to Taco Town? <laughs> I mean, sure. Nine all right. Oh, all oh, the time is already gone. Time is uh, what should I do now? Oh, it's so sad, guys. It's so sad. All right, let's go with the next boss. Oh, what is this? He does the thing. 
That is I always do the wrong thing. Doing the wrong thing. Wait, it's my turn now, is it? Yes, baby. It is. How exciting. Oof. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that. If you want to share your drawings, you can tag us on Instagram. Or so we're drinking draw Berlin. Draw an hour before the session. And we will we post your stuff. <laughs> But you can also post the drawings into our Discord group and we will review the drawings that are there uh, once we're done with the six poses, so in like roughly half an hour. So if you want to add something right now, we will totally have a look at it like later. Ha. Amazing speech, I know, thank you. It's great. Um, I'm gonna put right. it uh, really glad that we already had our troubles. Yes, this uh, session, so that means maybe... Always, always, always obliged to help you, Eileen. You know that. <laughs> maybe we're not gonna have troubles this time. Okay, beautiful. Alright. Oh boy. Um, so starting with the toy. Maybe for half an hour to get warm for, for next week. We really delve into this. I wanted to, to do something. I wanted to call a Devil's Advocate. <gasps> yeah, I really want to do that. And I just went with like things that I know the people at this table like. And essentially the idea is that um, I'm going to give you two things and you're going to identify which you unironically like better. Mm -hmm. and then you have to argue for why the other one it's is better. actually better. Yeah. Uh, and there's a very cynical way of doing this, which I think we demonstrated last week. Or, um, you just kind of give like backhanded uh, compliments to the other one, essentially. And I think it's more fun to actually genuinely try to find things that whatever is mentioned is actually better, even though you vehemently disagree with it. Yeah. Just because it's it's more positive and it's actually an exercise in in critical thinking or something. And it's an exercise in speech and debate. Fucked up. Yes. Basis. But yeah, let's do that. Also, another idea which I got from a podcast. It's called "Don't Even Get Me Started." Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. You put stuff like it's. It also helps when you like um, know the other people you're playing this with. So you you put s triggering stuff that the other people really don't like. It could be a certain food or like a certain Wales. behavior of the person. No. Oh, no. And then you draw like the stuff from the cup and then you say like oh don't even get me started on people who walk really slowly on the street when i'm in a hurry you know and then you like tell what's the worst about this and it's really funny oh dear. i like you it know? okay <laughs> don't even get me started yeah yeah let's do that so anyway uh Baya. yes why is the hobbit trilogy actually hobbit trilogy wow lord of the rings i know it's a, it's a big one yeah so which one do you like better of the two unironically um, I probably think it's uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, yeah. Um, based on my past with you, I can confirm that this is in fact the case. It's now, yes. do tell me why the Hobbit trilogy is actually better than You know why the Hobbit is actually better? Because uh, Ian McKellen had so much time to like, just, just gear up his acting, and after all these years, he's only getting better. Yeah. And the thing is, they have all these new CG oil effects they can just put in there, and it only looks better with these. And the cool thing about this is <laughs> that Martin Freeman, the guy who played in uh, Sherlock Holmes, and like how is it called in English, Per Anhalter durch die Galaxis, Hitchhiker's Guide, Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide Hitchhiker's through the galaxy, you know, this guy plays plays Bilbo Bilbo Baggins. I mean, they could have been a better pick. Did we talk you know? about uh, Benedict Cucumber Snatch? Yeah, That's and there's the dragons. dragons. You have dragons. You don't have dragons in Lord of the Rings, which That's is right. weird because it's fantasy. What the fuck? Yeah, where are you dragons? And Guys. I don't know. And did you see? There's a troll that has, they has has a mace as morning star. As morning star has legs. Uh, Whoever came up with that idea being, deserves an Oscar. You, you're being very cynical about this right now. Yeah, I'm very very cynical. I'm sorry. But yeah, okay. I'm trying to be honest. Why the movie is better? Um, I gotta think about that a lot. <laughs> I mean, um, everything about this movie is. Come on! No, no, no! Don't say it. Is. I shouldn't have started with that. I shouldn't have started with Baya. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, like, let's just you know let's let's find something that is actually nice about this movie. I mean, come on, there are nice things. We talked about that. I mean, yeah. The, I mean, I mean. I kind of like the design of Artsock. He's kind of cool. 
he's he looks very very menacing very menacing very menacing and they show a side of the orcs that they are more than just these brute oh, we're gonna smash them they, they, you see they have like they have strategies you know they think about stuff they had like a plan which is which gives the orcs a bit more depth because usually there are these these mindless yeah and just smashing things and they're just i, I don't know like the best example is kirithungul where the um Mordor Ox and the uh, and the Urukai just like mad, just smash each other, you know, and they're just mindless. But there you can see they're actually, you know, they have hierarchies, you know, they they follow plans, they have strategies, and it's and it's it's this actually a kind of interesting. Like, oh, it's kind of cool, you know. There's a bit of word like raw world building because you see more of Middle Earth, like in terms of variety of things. It's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dale, I actually like the city of Dale. Yeah, it was pretty It was cool. beautiful, yeah. Mm. And Erebor, the... Oh, man. But it's, it was good to see more of that architecture of the dwarves. Yeah. Because so far we only have seen the Mines of Moria, which, which was nice, but it was only the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. You could see, like, slow hints of what it could be. Mm. But then you saw Erebor and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Mm. And then you can see the forge as well, which was kind of interesting. I mean, they kind of went too much into... So they are uh, two months into, into tropes with that, I think. Yeah. We could have done a bit more grounded design work with that, but I still liked to see more about this whole stuff. Mm -hmm. And even though I hate all the dwarf designs, it's actually cool to have dwarves that are not just your daily dwarves. Yeah. So, you know, they could have done like nine dwarves that are cool, that are just Gimli dwarves, but they all look the same, you know? Yeah. And it's not like that. There are people on the world that look the same, like Asians, so... <laughs> can you wow. scroll or, or a pen up? Ah, yes, because we can't see it. Oh. Yeah, but that was actually cool. Yeah. And Smaug was, was, was Smug. Smug. I liked Smaug a lot. I was, I mean, at the same time, I was, I was kind of, was interesting to see, but I was also disappointing in seeing the dwarf women, because I was hoping they would have, like, full beards. I mean, actually, that's that was kind of weird because in the in, in Love the Rings they say that dwarf yeah, women have beards too. Yeah, but only in the extended vision. Which yeah, is and it's like in... yeah, but in the books it's the same thing. But like, yeah. why don't you see like dwarf women because of the beards? And then they, they, like Gimli t uh, in the books talks about this rumor that uh, that they, dwarfs don't have any women at all. Yeah, and they just pop out of the earth. I mean, yeah, I don't think so. But you know what? They, like there are not that many dwarfs because. They kind of made for life, and they are very jealous about things. They are very jealous mm. and uh, very it like that? And possessive. Possessive, you know. And yeah, mm. that's why they tend to just have one child or none. Because if they can't have that girl and she's only him, I'm not gonna take another one. Oh, I see. Would you? We could. You could call that romantic or obsessive. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or romantically obsessed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. All of the above. Okay, mm. I think that was a pretty good start for yeah, the yeah. Devil's Advocate. Oh, it took a lot from you, man. <laughs> I noticed actually... that your voice was so high, and I was like, yeah. yeah, I'm really like this movie. Like, it's like, oh, great. dear you. Wow. Uh, this, this, this day is called Seek Discomfort. Alright, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. would you like to take one, or is sure. it for me? Alright, so, uh, so would you ask, can I ask the last one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting off. So, um, I was just asking, um, just asking no, no. I know we love, we, you know, we love, and you know you love H.P. Lovecraft, or I don't know, but could you, could you tell us why Neil Gaiman is so much more better as an author than H.P. Lovecraft? Yeah. Pratchett. Oh, no, Pratchett, I'm sorry. Oh I was gonna, I was gonna oh say, that's, that's, that's a weird comparison. Pratchett, Pratchett. Uh, that's, that's, oh that's, that's not even hard, because um, Pratchett is... Compared to the game, I'm kind of limited in the <laughs> fiction that he actually <laughs> writes. Which the game, when you look at his portfolio, he's done a lot more. Because um, Gaiman has written a lot of fantasy, has written a lot of um, uh, a lot of science fiction. He has written things that are more like based in reality and things that are more fantastical overall. He has written for comics and novels and novellas and everything. Uh, whereas Pratchett always kind of stayed in, you could almost say, um, a uh, comfort zone. So <laughs> you, get, you get more of a, I'm, I'm being honest here, <laughs> you get a, a broader spectrum when you read Neil Gaiman. It's also more um, like a bigger variety of, of premises when you, when you look at his entire portfolio of books. Whereas Pratchett, uh, I mean, that's kind of his thing. 
Uh, almost everything is said in the Discworld, there's only a handful of novels that are outside of it. Whereas the things that became in it, he did several worlds and, and depictions of different different ideas. So, yeah, I can't say too much about the writing style because I haven't read anything that was like directly. I haven't read anything. Just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> I mean, I read, I read Good Omens. Okay, which is like what you guys don't know. Uh, it's the collaboration between Guess Who, Terry uh, Pressure, and Neil Gaiman. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright. Fine. Sure. Also, just from a totally objective standpoint, there's way more like Ooh. secondary material from Neil Gaiman in terms of, okay, there's movies and shows, and he's also done things for TV series and everything. Um, there's a really good episode from Doctor Who that Neil Gaiman wrote. Really? And one that isn't very good or I didn't like as much, but. Um, if Crash never did that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Could you tell me why the live action movie from Avatar no, no, no. Vs. Airbnb is actually have, better I have, one, than... I have one for lives as well. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Which I think will be triggering. Alright, trigger him, please do it. We have not talked about it that much. So, Lars. Oh, shit. Why exactly do you think that Yu Gi Oh! with a card game is better than Magic the Gathering? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, even 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 that is is uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's a soft ball. Is it? One. Um, I mean, I mean, for one, just in terms of the amount of hype that you can generate, Yu-Gi-Oh is a lot more like. Um, I mean, <laughs> but what about the mana situation, Lars? <laughs> Tell us I'm about gonna, the mana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that. Okay. Because uh, it's kind of nice in the same thing. Because in the terms of like um, the action to to cards plate ratio, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> how do you know? Is, I played both. Oh, okay. yu gi is a lot more exciting because every card does something almost immediately. Every card is either something that changes something on the battlefield, or it's hidden information that you don't have to play around, which is cool because it's a trap card or magic card that you set down. Whereas in magic, half your deck is going to be lands, and playing lands is not very exciting. So yu gi has a lot more action as you go forward. Also, the whole idea of having to sacrifice monsters to play bigger monsters, that's, from a design standpoint, pretty cool. Because it, it like builds up this idea that Chapeau, um, alas. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, and the whole mana situation is, is kind of kind of like that. You sacrifice some some depth when it comes to gameplay and balance for excitement, mm -hmm. and that's fine. That also ties into like, you having way better merchandising because magic essentially has merchandising. There's no TV shows or anything like that. Yu Gi Oh has a sick title song. Yeah. Like what? Like, yeah, the, sh the TV show, like the title no. song of Yu Gi Oh. What's it like again? I forgot. It's like. Yeah, you can't it's like a lot of techno, and then just like you go in the end, and you're like, oh, I'm so pumped. Don't forget that it's time to do well. Oh my god, it's great! Yeah, yeah. It's pretty exciting. Oh, we should listen to it afterwards. Yeah, yeah we should. We, we should, should listen to it while playing Magic the Gathering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come up and oh my god, this is. I, I, do we go to hell for that? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's why you Maybe can... the, the card game is better than okay. Magic Cards. Okay, alright, sure. I kind of want to ask this Wait, Lars as well. Is there blood? Is there blood? <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your soul in... Uh... <laughs> it's a piece of but yeah, soul. I mean, I'm gonna go for Lars again, because... Oh shit, what, the, what You know, going? in Germany, say all good things in three Lars, so please. I saved the mouse. What about so Lars, um, why would you say that the live-action movie of Avatar The Last Airbender is better than Avatar The Last Airbender the TV show. Um, well, it's with real people, duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, I see him crumbling. I see him crumbling. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean... He's just preparing his case. In, in terms... Yeah. <laughs> in terms of trying to actually get people into Avatar, I think the movie actually makes a better case because the beginning of Avatar of the series it's lame I watched it sorry guys it's not very sorry the beginning is lame the beginning is do you want to die the, the first six episodes of the series are kind of rough yeah it's it... they didn't make me want to watch it so I haven't yeah we still should because by the seventh episode it picks up but that's what you you can say what you, what you want about the movie but the movie is consistent yeah it's consistent <laughs> <laughs> Consistent, like really consistently. It's shit. Can't can, can quite keep a straight face on that one. Um, uh, you know, you know who was a, pr a producer for that movie? Your mom, Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> that was the only movie where she worked, uh, where she worked alone as a producer. Okay, I mean that's also really good. Um, that was Africa thing. Tell me why, uh, Kathleen Kennedy is a better producer than Kevin Feige. 
That's so niche, guys. And cool even I know, the force is female. <laughs> I, don't um, know. I mean, she has worked on a lot of big movies, you know, all the Indiana Jones. She worked on that as well as a co- uh, as a assistant producer. Hallo, ihr Sweeten. Ich glaube, das sind unsere Freunde aus La Palma. Nice lipstick. Nice lipstick? Sind sie unsere netten Nachbarn aus La Palma? I mean, da. Are you our sweet neighbors from La Palma? Because if you are, then be blessed. Be blessed, so. Dirk and guys. Amazing beaches. She's making a column that is just called Dirk and Dor. Dirk and Dor. Drunk and Dor. So it's just like. Oh my god, too drunk to draw. Oh my god, Tokyo ni La Palma drift. La Palma Stift. Oh my god. You have 25 seconds left. Ah, well, it's not as shit as I thought it would be. Cool. It looks like, you know, these old Chinese paintings? Oh, yeah. Looks like these. Dirt. You know, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank on the movie, but that's be- also because I haven't fully seen it. So. <laughs> it's, it's all right. So. Can I get a devil's advocate? Oh, yeah, sure. So, which of these two do you like better? Pokemon or Digimon? <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, Ironically or unironically? Well, unironically. Unironically, I really prefer Digimon. Yeah, so now tell me why Pokemon is the superior show. Okay. Or franchise. So, the thing is with Pokemon, you know, (laughs) (laughs) you can watch, you can just watch one episode for fun and be completely. Time's over, Ali. I know, sorry. Be completely satisfied with it, you know? It's just like a cute little entertaining show that you can watch just like one episode of and like don't have to waste your whole life on on watching the other episodes really oh, wow. <laughs> with digging one on the other hand if you start watching it you will waste precious precious lifetime because you will, will, will probably if you just watch one random episode in the middle of it you won't get anything and you're just like who are these people why are they doing that <laughs> why so, are they um, tormenting all these pokemon <laughs> Um, yeah, also, I mean, Pokemon, that's what Ola always said, and I have to respect that, is um, they are, like, based on real animals and plants, I guess, and Digimons are based on animals with weapons strapped to their back. <laughs> uh, which is I also, mean, what about Turtok? Yeah, ignore Blastoise, please. I mean, that's what Ola always says, some kind of, yeah, well, yeah. Um, also, the people don't age, which is inspiring, right? I mean, it's Japan, so I mean, maybe it makes sense. They, they just... Okay. Just say one age and then um, you, you, the, it doesn't make you sad, you know, because some people get sad when they see age and change happening, me included. And when you watch Pokemon, you don't have to deal with this real life issues. And that's what a good show should be, right? You shouldn't think <laughs> about real life issues, right? I don't know. Hard. Like death <laughs> in Digimon. Yeah. Alright, so let's get for to the next post Ooh, there. There's an episode where, where Ash actually dies very early on in the show. Oh, is it in, is it in the movie? Dying. Oh, also in the movie, but he, he is an actual ghost in the episode where he tries to get um, a... Uh, what's it called? Um, it's not ghastly, it's, it's not Gengar, it's the one in between. Oh yeah, but um, I only know the German name for that. It's... shoot. Someone help me. It's... Um, I really... Hunter! It's Hunter. Got it. Got it. All right, got let's it go for the Great, next great name, name, by the way. The, the, the ghost Pokemon. Hunter. Amazing. Because it haunts people, get it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's does. Really, it's they a really are complicated pun. quite creative with their names, I think. I mean, I mean, I think the guy who wrote that name actually works as a writer for uh, Alice in Borderland. They okay, might. this yeah. is... Oops, wait, can we close it? This is the last pose of the evening for you still watching if there are any ones left. I'm not oh, you got sure. this, you get the the true one. It's a knee in the Ooh, face. Oh, chew, 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 chew. Well, actually, there's something fun about Pokemon because some names are changed from, from country to country because it's a pun, uh-huh. whereas others don't have that Yeah. Uh, for one reason or another, either because it works in every single... Uh, language, or in the in the case of Pikachu, Dankeschön. it's just marketing because they wanted to keep like the name straight in every single language because it was the most yeah. marketable Pokemon. Is will Ali are these Pokemon named after the thing they say, or like do they say the thing that they are after named after? In universe, I don't know, but usually but I would say it's pretty stupid, anyways. But now I'm saying it's 
How different and creative to do this. So <laughs> to do. I mean, you just go. You don't go to like a frog and like he's like, he's like oh, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Oh. There's also Pokemon that don't say their name. Really? Yeah. There's a bunch Monty. of them that just growl or or, or mute, like like like, like the Magnemite. Doesn't or make, like uh, doesn't or make any sound. True. Maybe he's stupid. Really smart, I think. But what what about this guy with the mm. with the skull? What's it called again? I know the German name, but I'm I'm trying to charge myself to get the the English name. It's Marowak. Yeah, because it's weird because like the, the skull is not part of himself, but it's part of the Pokemon. Where did he get the skull? Oh, don't you know? I mean, it's his t that mother or something, is it? Yeah. But then it's like every like, are you supposed to have that as this Pokemon? Like every Pokemon like that needs to have the dead skull, the dead mother. Is it like a weird? Have you ever read the Pokedex? Shit's oh. fucked up. No. There is so much crazy shit in there. Like like some po okay. So there's there's Ninja Tom, which is um already crazy. Okay, <laughs> this this is like aliens, guys. This is like 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 conspiracy theory Pokemon stuff. So when you have a I forgot the name of it, but there's a Pokemon called uh, Ninjask. And uh, the, the previous form is called Shedinja. Why do I know this? Um, Shedinja? Yeah, Shed Shedinja. Shedinja. Like Shitty Ninja? No, it's like, I think it comes from Shed. Because the whole thing about, okay, watch out. Shitty um, Ninja. It evolves into Ninjask. But, there's, but if you have a spare, uh, spare slot in your team, so you only carry five Pokemon and have mm. a spare Pokeball somewhere, then for some reason, a Ninja Tom uh, is in that Pokemon. Because Ninja Tom is the, the cocoon. It's a Pokemon that's a cocoon. It has a hole in it where the ninja, the ninja comes out of. And the Fuck. Pokedex entry says, whoever looks into the hole gets their soul trapped in the cocoon. What? Yes. That's only one of them. There's a couple that are just, oh yeah, this is by the way, the soul of a dead person that turned into a Pokemon. I think that's Gengar. I think a Gengar is like a, like, like a, like a person turned into... What? Yeah, into a Pokemon after death. How There's fun. some crazy shit in there. Also, uh, a, a um, Alakazam apparently has an IQ of 5,000, but it's totally cool to enslave it in, in a Pokeball and then force it to essentially engage in animal fighting. Well, that's right. the whole deal about Pokemon. Oh, yeah. You know, this, this I mean, Digimon, is. you know... Okay, no, we're not here to make that case. <laughs> they do it voluntarily, you know? They're not yeah. forced. They can leave whenever they want. And they do leave sometimes because they're like hung up with their stupid owners. Mm -hmm. So they're like, and they can actually talk, guys. They can. I mean, imagine talk. in the world where Pokemon really <laughs> exist, and then a guy like Tiger King living. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's Team Rocket, right? Yeah. It's something that got me excited about like back in the old days of 2010 uh, about Pokemon Black and White, because there was uh, essentially Pokemon Peter. Pokemon. Like, it's all Pita. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you, you shouldn't capture Pokemon because you're essentially enslaving them. And oh yeah, that makes sense. Uh, go on. What are then you follow them around a the corner and then they just kick a Pokemon for no reason. It's all an act, and the whole argument kind of falls apart and is never brought up again. It's kind of sad. Oh. They lost me by that point. It's just we're trying to make a point here, or oh, okay, no, we're not gonna mention that. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. I mean, it was sad. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. As soon as all the kids realize we're enslaving them, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're friends. They're friends, right? Yeah, no, you're dying for your friend, friends. Friends that you? cannot leave. Shh. <laughs> I mean, did, did you have you ever wondered what it, what it does look like in one of these Pokeballs? Hmm? Yeah, I wonder like what it's look what it what does it look like? Well, it's probably not horrible because Pokemon always kind of leave kind of happy. I mean, maybe they're just in some kind of sedatives. I don't know. They're all just in some kind of drug, and they're like, yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like catnip for Pokemon. Or like heroin. Okay, Eileen, the fuck. I'm sorry, <laughs> but catnip, catnip is not gonna do anything. Catnip is not like heroin for for, for animals. No, Please. I mean like catnip is too weak <laughs> to keep too Pokemon weak. fighting too each other. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not. You move the Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Pow. Pow, pow, pow. 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 You know the stuff? Can I get another one? Sorry. I really liked um, it. Shh. Let, let me think. 
Because I have like six or seven written down. Um. Because the reaction needs to be kind of visceral, right? Mm. Uh, ooh, look at the sketch from Leo. Fucking cool. Ooh, love it. Nice. Leo, man, your sketch looks fucking amazing, man. He's still there. He's doing quite uh, Oh, and Taliope! Nice. Look at this. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. I look very concerned, but I did actually so perfect. I like it. Um, oh, Taliope hat sich die Haare geschnitten! Look at this! Wait. Nee? Kurze Haare in dem Bild. Oder ist das ein altes Bild? I don't know. I think that was her proper picture all along. Yeah. Okay, good, sorry. sorry. Maybe I'm getting this wrong, Taliope. So that's correct. Um. Alright. Well, if you can't think of something, that's okay as well. And there's a couple, but I'm not sure if you have. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm not sure if you have any strong opinions on it, so it's actually fun mm. to argue here. Uh mm. it also be comparable in some way. Oh Maya, I have a question for you maybe. I don't know if you have strong opinions about that, but maybe you have. Please, please. So why is boxing a cooler and more interesting sport <laughs> than one. MMA? Mixed martial arts. <laughs> I think I think it is because <laughs> your voice again. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it actually is because I think it. Uh, How dare you? How dare it you? It is more intricate in its own way because uh, in that way you have so many different ways of like defeating your enemy. But then if you only have boxing, you can just like get more into, in in depth into the whole technique. So it's like oh, okay, so see. You see that like you think about more more about how can you just move around or how can you uh, like outsmart your enemy when mm. you're just boxing. Mm. Because otherwise you just have to take care of your takedown defense, of your mm. grappling, your wrestling, everything. But now the only thing you focus on is boxing. Mm -hmm. So the level of professionalism in or like the level of um, competence in boxing or stand-up striking is so much more higher than in MA. Mm -hmm. So that makes it more interesting in a way because you will have definitely more have intriguing fights when it comes to technique, speed, agility. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I don't know if I should have that too, but they don't have time to just focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. They have to do everything, you know? When, you, when you're a guy who just like, you're, you, you like to do, you're a very good boxer and you focus on boxing and that's it. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows that you're just gonna do a takedown and then everything you've learned is not, is for naught, you know? Mm -hmm. But then in boxing you can do that, just focus on that. Dedicate your whole life for that. And it's actually nice to see that, you know? That level of competence. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that you have as well in MMA, but not on that level in like, like boxing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Are you passionate about that at all? Or do you feel that? I mean, I like boxing too, so it's cool. Oh, right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, Lars. Uh oh. Why do you think that for beginners, live drawing classes, it is so much better to have the model in very in a very diffuse light situation. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that way you're forced to actually look more at proportions instead of trying mm -hmm. to find more details. Because mm -hmm. diffuse lighting gets rid of you know the minute details that you get from strong cast shadows. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's probably a good idea to do this, and I tell people that um, yeah, just just try to figure out like the major intersection points. And don't draw too much of like the bumps on the body, like like muscles and bones protruding. <laughs> okay. And it's actually like a valid argument for diffuse lighting. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just writing out what I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nice. Okay. Actually. I mean, genuinely, yeah, it helps with a certain aspect when it comes to seeing things on the model. Mm -hmm. But having a strong light is generally more uh, helpful if you have the proper instruction. Because mm -hmm. it happens very often that people just kind of, kind of scribble in the shadows over and over with, like tiny lines, and that's not the point of it. Yeah. Just making your like. <laughs> Leo is like, show us head to find instruction. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Leo, Leo, I don't know if you um, were around 
but we're playing devil's advocate, so we're arguing for things that, that are we, not good. That are not our opinion. So Lars is of the opinion that a good good light situation with like one light source or two uh, is better for beginners at least to learn stuff. But um, ah, kind okay. of, <laughs> we're forcing, He's like, what, are, what the fuck are they talking about, man? We're forcing ourselves to like take the opposite side and argue, like <laughs> find valid. Yeah. I've been arguments. playing this the whole time, by the way. Just said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I do not prefer Pokemon over Digimon. Yeah, and I prefer MMA over man. boxing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, holy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a fan of Diffuse Lighting and of The Hobbit and all the CG in The Hobbit. Yeah, I love The Hobbit. I just love it. And Avatar the Mo I think that was the hardest one, actually trying to... There's a couple more where I think, oh, please don't ask me that because I, I wouldn't really know how to... How tell to... me. What did you, okay, please, tell me why the new Star Wars Return of the Jedi Ooh. or The Last Skywalker is better than <laughs> the original trilogy. <laughs> well, that's a very, very easy question because, you know, uh, potentiality is infinite. <laughs> so, uh, the original trilogy I have seen so I have a different opinion um, that is not very uh, changeable. Whereas the, 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 the Rise of Skywalker, I haven't seen yet. Um, so it could be anything. Nah, that be a motherfucker. It could be a car. <laughs> it could be, you know. No, 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 no. Let's, you know what it's about. You know what happens. Search your feelings. I, I actually don't know. Search your feelings. I, actually, I, I, I avoided a bunch of spoilers that, that were avoidable. I know certain characters appear. But I don't know where characters at the end of the movie are, and I don't know the events of yeah. the movie. Did you know why they actually uh, deleted, or like, all they made like the the canon stuff uh, just just erased it? Because Ryan Johnson did that to uh, Star Trek too, because it's cheaper to oh yeah instead to buy all the, the rights for that. I mean, to, to, to make it more fair, uh, I mean, he had the rights. It's a silly thing. Um, to make it more fair, like. Explaining why, for example, The Last Jedi is better than um, Emperor Strikes Back. That's, I think, is a, is a, is a trickier question. <gasps> yeah. Okay, okay. Tell us why, uh, why Art Knight you might... is no, better stop. than Drinking Draw Berlin. <laughs> I mean, in, in Art Knight, you just, I think it's cool because you don't need to think about the art you produce. You just go there and you don't have to worry that it might look weird because you're just gonna draw the same picture as your neighbor. So there's no shaming of artworks at yeah, all. Yeah, we, we shame people at Drink and Draw all the time. I do that time. all the time. <laughs> yes. No, it's not like, you don't need to have feel pressure that no one, someone is better than you. Yeah, what Leo said, what is Art Knight? Yeah, very good question, what is Art Knight? Don't Google it. No, you don't need to worry about <laughs> someone being like superior, like or you just say, everyone just draws the same thing. It's like you're going to school and everybody has uniforms. It's cool, there's no individuality. I'm so confused. Can I, can I get, a, get a brief run on what Art Knight is? You don't know what Art Knight is? No, I don't. Mars, oh my God. where have you been? Have you been living over underneath the rock? Uh, yes, <laughs> I've been living in Schwerte for, for years. Okay, Art Knight is then a... We moved here and then okay. for some Art reason the world a, stopped... Is, Art Knight is a session that you book and uh, you come there with around 50 other people. Okay. There's a teacher and he brings a painting which is uh, usually very, 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 very weird and, and bad and bad. So it's not like a so it's like list. yeah, it's He's like you have this weird sunsets with a thousand different colors, and then the task for a night is for everyone to just copy that picture. No, the thing is, the teacher guides you step by step through the process of painting the exact picture. Yeah, which is like this. I can show you the website actually if you want to. We have now. like 15 seconds yeah. left. And later. And uh, you know, and it's a Berlin thing. No, it's a Germany thing. It's a. Yeah, they and are they like. They and are they draw like the lions with colored manes, like the it's like sunsets super, and super stuff. Successful. Oh, it's not just like classic, like no, they like, like the kitschy paintings. Yeah, and shit. like stuff that like desperate housewives wear, like put in the kitchen. This that's the stuff they draw, I like paint. And they pay a lot of money for that. They get free champagne, I guess. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, to be fair, Artnet is not the worst. It's just, I mean, they advertise by saying, you know, no pressure. If you can just try out a hobby with like no strings attached, basically, you can have fun with yeah. drinks and friends. I mean, 
meet a different audience. It's very common, like a tree slid on a sunset. Yeah. Yes, beach. That's right. It's exactly right. Or oh, copy and mirror. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's valid. Like, if you don't want to get into art that much and you're not like, you know, you just want to have a good time for an evening, you can totally do that and like be fine with it. Yes. I mean that. Gotcha. So yeah, I think. It's... All right, the time is out. Out. Cute. Nice. Cool. It kind of rhymes when it looks like I like was challenged to a dance off in a club and I was very offended. I'm like, bitch, what? <laughs> nice. I like it. All right, guys. Um, that's it for tonight. I think we're just gonna check out the Discord really quick. Just oh yeah, that's a good someone idea. Someone posted something there. That's a good idea. Yes. Let's do that. Um, let us proceed. Uh, how do we do it again? We Discord. close the thing, Discord. right? OBS. Close the thing. Yes. Uh, hold on. And then we have to close the Photoshop. No, what? Um, Photoshop. Let's make it small. And then, do we have. He leaves us this the, his favorite drawing of tonight. Oh, yes. What? Oh, thank you. That's so nice. I was actually inspired by your ink drawings, Leo, in case you could tell. Um, Discord. Wait, we have to open a window though on the thing, right? Oh, did, did we have a window? Window capture too? No. Are you sure? No. Okay, I'm just gonna add another one. Window capture. Internet. Internet. Okay. Can, can people see <laughs> oh, um, Where is our camera? Is it out? Oh. What you doing? I'm just checking. Um, which one is ours? Oh, the drawing camera is ours. ours. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on top so we're like. <laughs> okay, the other one is ours, sorry, that's, that's... Um... Model Kim... Come on. Come on. Come on! Okay. So now... Internet should be able to be bigger uh, with us being behind it. Okay, perfect, mm -hmm. love it. So, Discord. Um, 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 drink and draw. Oh, Lucas. Why is it so weird? So <gasps> oh, you oh, motherfucker! Oh, he drew so us! Cool. Oh my god! Please, oh my can god. Can oh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done with this. Love's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas looks fucking amazing, man. Dude, dude, I love you, man. It looks cool. This is so cool, Lucas. Such a mean image. I want this to be my profile picture. And I look so, like, ooh. evil. I look like, a, like an actual raccoon for some reason. Love it. Oh my god, Lars! That's <laughs> fucking cool, man. <laughs> I, 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 Lars chiseled as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Love it. It's shrek it. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Lucas. It looks super That's cool. So I cool love though. it. <laughs> we are love. very distracted. Yeah, man. Dude. Every week. You are Every amazing. week, man. Can we have this like as a banner for our stream or something? Yes, please! <laughs> yes, please! <laughs> Can we use that, Lucas? Can we use Lucas, that? Can please? we use that? That would be awesome. I would love. Oh my god! I can do like an Instagram post with like three of them. You know, like yes, next beach. to each. <laughs> oh, I love that. That would be cool. Okay, I think this, these are all the entries. The other ones we have already checked out last time. Yes. Um, if you want to post drawings, post them to Instagram and tag us with at Drink and Draw Berlin yes, or beach. hashtag Drink and Draw Berlin, and we will repost them. And right, yeah. and see you next week. Next week for maybe short poses, yes. maybe traditional. Short poses, traditional? Definitely short poses, traditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say definitely, but maybe. You know? Bye, have a good night. Bye, night. Night, night. night.